Hey everybody, Curious here. Welcome back to Pacific Drive. Played a little bit of the demo earlier, about a month, month and a half ago. Well, the game's about to launch. It'll be launching tomorrow, February 22nd. So, Pacific Drive is a first-person driving survival game where your car is your only companion. Navigate a surreal reimagining of the Pacific Northwest and face supernatural dangers as you venture into the Olympic Exclusion Zone. In the abandoned garage that is your home base, you'll restore and upgrade your car between expeditions. Each trip into the wilderness offers surprising and odd challenges as you drive. Gather precious resources and investigate what's been left behind in the zone. Unravel a long forgotten mystery while learning exactly what it takes to survive in this unpredictable, hostile environment. All right, so let's get going here. Uh, I, I'm just going to, for the sake of continuity, I'm going to go ahead and just start from the beginning here. I know we made it through basically a lot of the tutorial part to where I assembled the antenna and I said I wanted to stop there because I wanted to do a full playthrough of this, which I'm doing now. So if you guys have already watched the previous video that I did, you can go to the second. I'm going to try to end this first video when I assemble the uh, the radio tower. Hopefully that keeps things pretty pretty consistent. And then we can move forward from there. Or you can watch the whole thing again and go from there. Uh, hopefully I don't, you know, when I gather resources, things might be a little off. But uh, I'm going to try to keep it as close as possible. So let's get started here. They might have changed some things too, so I'm not 100% sure about that either. All right, let's go ahead and start a new game slot. Oh, you know what? We got to do something here first. We got to go into settings. We got to go to the audio and turn on the, the streamer safe mode. It's on. That's good. Probably because they sent out these keys to everybody and they're all YouTubers and streamers and whatnot. So that's probably, probably what happened there. All right. And I'm not supposed to in the first day, like the day before launch, there's like two days where we could launch videos and I'm doing it the day before launch. I'm not supposed to go past mid the mid wall into the swamp biome, I guess. So I'm not sure what that is, but if I get to that point, I'm probably going to have to stop the uh, the recording pretty quickly. So let's get started here. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and natural and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's border grew as a the borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Like I said before, this this has a very stalker feel, with like a my summer car sort of vibe mixed in with it. It's got a little bit of Back to the Future going on too. I don't know. Stay on the roads. Okay. Yes, I remember that from before. Uh, we're turning that off. Good. All right, let's go. I guess I can't turn off the radio, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. It seems a bit loud. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Dang, it's like music. Yeah, we're gonna turn that down about 40%. And we'll go a little lower. I can hear myself think a little bit there. Did I not? Did I not save it? Oh, yeah, I did. It's just ignoring me. Radio music. Ah, there it is. So it's different than regular music. All right, we can turn this back up to about 50 probably. Let's see if that works. Radio dialogue. Those are the guys that are going to be guiding us along, so we're going to leave it at that. All right, that's a little bit better.
The car feels a little easier to drive, actually. I don't know if it's just because I haven't played it in in a couple, like a month or so, but it feels a little, little easier to drive. Turn on the wipers here. Ah, there's the wall. Man, this is when cars were a lot simpler, huh? Back in the 80s, this felt like high tech to us. Intermittent windshield wipers. Not that we have those on this car, apparently, but. Toggle the headlights. Oh, yeah, I remember this part now. You can definitely tell when they, someone's playing on the keyboard, keyboard and mouse with the uh, driving. Okay. So they've added a lot of sound effects to it. Well, so much for staying on the roads. We're going off-road now. Restricted area. Powering on ahead here. And then we have a breakdown that need to fuel up, I do believe. Seems like every time I drive through those uh, levitating rocks, it sort of busts the uh, anomaly breaks the anomaly for some reason. Yep, that seems about right. getting swept away here. There we go. I thought we broke down there and had to refuel with a gas can. Or is that yet to come? Oh, I think it's right now. So I'm on the other side of the wall, it appears to be, or I'm facing the opposite direction. I'm not sure which, but yeah, the Olympic exclusion zone, get to safety. Okay. So which way do I go? Uh, probably the way they have me facing. this way if I'm not mistaken yes find transportation all oh, the basics of the tutorial here your movement, to basic movement oh, tutorial, right? Oh. Hey, Tobias, what's up? Uh, what a swan, eh? uh, there she is. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Put the wheel back on, okay. All right. <laughs> Made it look easy. All right, I'm going to get in the car. Oh, I know what it is. I actually have to fill up this car. It wasn't my other car. It was this one. 
Let's uh, start the old engine here. I was getting a little ahead of myself with my memories. And we'll put her in drive. Right. On the floor. Distress signal in the outer zone. And it looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Yeah, they're picking me up on their radar. That's what that is. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? They, they, they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. There we stranded. go. Could they, I mean, they're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. I'm gonna go grab some more fuel. Can't remember if there's a limit on how much we have at the at the base, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Oh, it's not working. Doesn't want me to siphon any more fuel. Let's go ahead and uh, store the fuel can. There we go. All right, let's get going here. Drive east. That's the way we're heading. Whoa, 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 wait, hold the fall. There it is again, that flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that way before, before, but where? No kidding. Let it be. A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy Christ! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'm killed to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. Find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. Now, I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn off the engine, open up the door, hop out here. Alright. Memory serves, I think we go in the back here, don't we? Yeah. It feels a little jerky with the mouse. Let me turn this down just a little bit. Still feels a little quick, but. Oh, God. Who's there? Oh, the shop. Oh, God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Oh, oh my head. It's <laughs> an emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We've sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol, uh, demands that you 
keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Tell her that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <laughs> another breacher, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300-meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Ah, oh, God, unfortunately. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that card. Don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. All right, let's make a crude door here. View the blueprint, I guess. Okay. Material source, so we need some materials here. Gather uh, items from behind the and the, the car behind the garage here. I need a pry bar. Okay. Toolbox in the garage for a pry bar. Take everything. I want to equip that though. Let's see if we can put that into a hot into hands. There we go. So we got some flares, we got pry bar, some duct tape, mechanics kit, and some glass shards. There's the dumpster, yeah. Oh, sh that's a dumpster fire. The lit flare in the. <laughs> we'll take that scrapper, though. It's gonna make short work of the uh, the car here. Shield tank, yeah. Nice. What else can we get here? I might as well just grab it all, I guess, right? Just a couple right here. Here's some brakes or something, right? Yep. Tire. Probably get some rubber from it. There we go. Okay. Um, keep going? Wants me to keep going, I guess. Alright, so we've got done that. Craft a crude door in the shop. I think we want to put this on the trunk. So we're going to be storing items back there. I don't want them falling out. Repair putty from the locker. Okay. Got another tire there, too. We can throw on the spare tire. It's, uh, yeah. It's perfectly good tire there, so. Um, equip the repair putty. Yeah, standby. That's the flare. Yeah, where's the repair putty at? There it is. Okay. Use the repair putty to repair the car. Okay.
Nice. Use a little bit on this here. It's a brand new tire. See, I don't have a front quarter panel there, so can't repair something that doesn't even exist. That one was in really bad shape. That was pretty much dead. That panel's dead. It's back doing. Back door's looking good because I just made it. And that, uh, we still don't have a bumper at all back here. Uh, what else? That looks good. Let's look around, see what else. We're 94% of the way there, so I'm just missing one thing. Looks like probably, probably on this side, probably this door. Yeah. And everything else we need to build and add. Fix the flat tire. So where's the flat tire at? Is it, was it front? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the one that's blinking, right? Take that one off. Throw that down. one up that one on there we go good as new showroom condition all right scan the loose wheel all right over here so we need to check this and we're going to do a visual check on it here all right fix the loose wheel so we're probably going to use the mechanics kit right yeah okay there it is let's throw this over here That's not what I want to do. Ah, uh, hit R instead of. There we go. Okay, outfit the car. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Uh, okay. Let's see, do I have somewhere? Put hands only. Yeah, I got room. Let me pick it up. Okay, not sure why I didn't do that the first time. Alright, there we go. Install craft bat in the trunk. Uh, where was that at again? Back here? Okay. Nice. Install oh, arc device in the passenger seat. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car. Ow. Wherever it'll fit. I hit my it literally I damaged myself. I hit myself with the door. Cost one damage. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go find that. Oh, there it is. Great. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck. You should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. I think I gotta yes, put this in the uh, my very own invention. Harbor box. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Just in case we need it, right? Have that ready to go. All right. Gear blueprint is over here. Impact hammer blueprint. Okay. Uh, we're gonna fill up the tank now. There we go. All right. So, throw the switch on the on to charge the battery. Okay, this is our crazy looking trickle charger. If you're all set, take a look at the projector <laughs> against the wall. Projector. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here. That's right. That's where the headset thing is. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means 
is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into 10 miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does, constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Well, we only have one choice, so... Select the destination. Okay. Oh, I gotta hold. Go. Gotta hold down the, the garage, left mouse the button. Road. That's right. Off we go. Oh yeah. Now we go. Go do some resource hunting. We gotta build this antenna. Alright, let's go ahead and travel it. Cars, your shield, and so on and so forth. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. I'm just looking at random stuff here. I know I need to look over here. This is what I really need to be looking at. There we go. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. Yeah, we need the impact, impact hammer. The trick. Oh, that's new. No place is safe. I wasn't there before. Wish I would have had that sign last time I was here. What do we got here? Pressure cartridges, gas cylinders. I think this is new. What do we got here? Backpack. We got some fabrics and duct tape. Okay. Luckily, most of this stuff stacks, so. I need to dial back the, uh, feels a little jittery. Dial back something here. Mushroom learning. Oh, yeah, let's just go back one there. Yeah, let's, let's dial some of this back. I don't know, it automatically defaulted to this, so I think I'm going to dial this stuff back here. Yeah. Shaders. Yeah, let's go medium on those. Shadows medium. That's normally what really kills that, uh, frames on mine. Okay. Apply. Apply. Okay. I guess they're applied. That feels a lot smoother to me at least. What is that? Oh yeah, rubber ducky. Okay, I got you. <laughs> rubber duckies. Anything else here? Look at you, out in the zone, all on your own. Yeah, it feels, yeah, so feels fast, quite a bit better. And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. 
Didn't think we'd, uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. There we go. I'm gonna save the rest of my uh, scrapper here. As you can see, it's starting to wear down down there. Um, so I'm gonna save a little bit of this. Should be able to make an impact hammer. Let's uh, go to the. Uh, yeah, don't need to do that. I'm just gonna clear these out. You guys can pause on those if you want. Let's go to blue hip, blueprints, impact hammer. Add that to the checklist. There we go. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities. We need some gears. So I need to make some gears. In Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability swells the area. So loot to All your right. heart's content. Just Head back here. Loot away. And let's make um gear. Where was that? That was over here. So, I think I'll add that to my favorites. I think I needed two of those. Right? Now I should be able to make the impact hammer. Yes. There we go. Uh, oh, I forgot you can make the... You can craft your things you need from right here. I like that. You don't have to go searching for them. I forgot about that feature, but that's really cool. Yeah. Sweet. All right, let's go get another one. Wait, I think, is there more over here? Can't remember. Um, around back, maybe? No, that one's been, that one's been busted up already. Should be able to, I wonder if I can impact hammer this. No. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds, I'm counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly get that thing. immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Mm, I can put Those in trunk. will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. All right, let's throw some of this stuff in the trunk. Then I can load up more in my inventory. Um, let me see here. I think I'll put steel sheet. Yeah, we'll put that over here. Just the crafting stuff, because I'm going to have to do the crafting here anyway. Repair for the car. Scrapper. I'll keep that with me. Um, should be able to get most of this stuff over here. Alright. Nice. Just the bare necessities, right? Um, yeah. That's... Where'd the impact hammer go? Is it in my hands? Nope, it's on the floor. Yeah, I'll put this over here. There we go. Alright, let's go grab some more loot before we leave this area. Can I get into there? No, I don't think so. Grab 
for some food. Take that. For sure. There's something else over here. Somehow I can somehow I can loot it through the fence. That's okay. Canned food. This is like a small food. Batteries? Inventory full. What are you talking about? Nice. Lots of fabric. Is that everything? Consumer electronics. All right. I guess I should pretty much scan everything. Supply containers. It's probably the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay. I can scan everything like wrecked car. And... Nope. Got everything there. Yeah, I can pretty much scan everything. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything in here. Uh, to scan like a backpack, maybe? Counts as a container or something. Yeah. Okay, I think I got everything. Alright. Can I scan my own car? Okay. Let's throw some more of this stuff over. Trying to hit myself this time. Alright, let's get inside. My, it's my little safe bubble right here. Never mind the fact I don't have a door over there. That would be kind of annoying. Alright, so I need to get four more plasma generators. I wonder if I could do a door out here. I bet you I can. Put a door on. So I get shocked from these things. It's kind of annoying. I think I'm gonna maybe steer clear of these. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna steer clear of those. Here's a one next to a an anomaly as well. I don't know how much I want to mess with that. I wonder if I drive through it if it'll break it, bust it up. Oh no, whoa. That was unexpected. Let's go on back. Pretty sure it was safer to do that in the car than uh, on foot. I don't remember this weather that being this bad. Okay. Impact hammer? No, uh, leave it back here. I guess I should carry that with me. Nope, oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Take some damage here. All 
All right, let's get back in the car. We're taking some health health damage here. That drone that's flying up there, if I remember correctly, he tries to, like, tether you and kind of pull you off the road. Alright, let's make it quick here. We got four out of five. This uh, weather subsides soon. No. Oh. Huh, wish granted. Coming up to anywhere that might have a. I wonder if it was just all behind us. If I can go back, or if it's just a pocket of weather or something. I don't know. Got plenty of fuel, so I'm not too worried about that right now. I think I'm gonna have to go back and hit one of these. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go back and hit one of these uh, towers, unfortunately. Probably get shocked in the process. Look at our window, it already got spider web, man. Poor car. Uh, flat tire? Might need to repair that tire. Let me, uh, stop the car here real quick. We're gonna get the putty out. Repair putty. You can hear this flat. Yeah, we got a flat. There we go. Alright. else looking pretty good. I wonder if I can make myself a door here. I'd like to put a door here, if possible. Just for the heck of it. Oh, you know what? I remember them in the demo saying, don't try to go above and beyond and do too much. Because it might screw something up later, like if they want me to actually as part of the demo to replace that door. I don't remember. So I'm going to just not do that for that specific reason. All right, let's head back up here now that the weather's cleared. I thought I, cl I thought I fixed it. Spare tire. What's the problem here? Ceiling. Oh, I need to make a ceiling kit. I bet you I can do that. Let's see your ceiling kit. Does it require? Oh yeah, we got tons. Let's, let's do that. Here we go. Okay. Probably make two of those. Just for the heck of it. Let's see here. I got a ceiling kit. Oh, that's a pla that's a plasma. What was that? Yeah, that was copper wire. 
sealing kit. Here we go. All right. Switch it out. Oh, so that's what a sealing kit looks like. Okay. Now we're fixed. Okay, good. Let me get out the impact hammer so we're ready to jump out. Get shocked a couple times and grab our plasma and go. Oh, wait, there's one over here. Ah, I didn't see this when we passed by in the, you know, torrential rainfall, hurricane, temperate rainforest hurricane that was happening. Don't go too far. All right, get back to your car. Looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower up on a hill somewhere. Uh, I know where that's at. There it is. Or no, that's the uh, high tension wires. The uh, antenna's up this way. Just gonna take these switchbacks here and then we'll be right there. Huh, that was odd. There's the antenna. Logbook play, okay. Welcome, visitors. Oh, that's so much better than the other one where there's like no hope or whatever it said. There's no way to. Everywhere's dangerous or something like that. Uh, where's our. Play my logbook. Where's my logbook? Something I can play in here? Maybe. Oh, it's Tobias talking. It's just a rundown. Alright, yep. Lots of information there. Oh, nothing like, you know, the horns of the apocalypse blasting in the background. Alright, we got it. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. Oh, no, no, I need that. The makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. All right, let's head on out here. I think there's one at the bottom of the hill here. So I just want to kind of just go over the edge, but I have a feeling that's going to like severely damage the vehicle. At this point, I'm kind of just immune to the weird, odd thuds and explosion noises that happen in this place. Like this thing. Oh, yeah. I don't think they were there when we came up. That's normal. Alright. So, yeah, we're going to come out here and then we're going to make a left and go for that big one down at the bottom. Make it through here? Yeah, we can do it. I think this guy gets a little grabby. This little drone here. If I remember correctly, those guys might explode if you hit them or something. 
Okay. So we're going to get down here. This arc device area here. Let's see map legend. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, take the anchor. Okay, I'm going to. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. There we go. The arc device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. I'm about ready to leave. I want to get caught in the storm that follows. Whoa. Yeah, he 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 yanked me. Yeah, he, I thought he was I thought he was a little grabby. I'm gonna put this in park for now. Hopefully that helps him from keeps him from grabbing me. He's trying to link up here. I got interrupted, I think. There we go. Drive. Yep, no problem. I'm driving. Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than hot death. There we go. All right. Ah, home sweet home. Lovely. that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they're the rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Nice. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie, but it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and oh, throw impact the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear. Wonderful. There we go. Fabrication station. Assemble an antenna with a fabrication station. What all do we need? Um, crafting mat? Okay. Oh, I think it's it's taking all the stuff that I have in the car, so I think we're good. Alright. So, hands only. It means I can't, can't put that in my backpack. All right, to the roof, and this is where we ended the the demo preview of the game, right about here. So, ah, sweet, got ourselves an antenna. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. All right, guys. So I'm going to end this episode here, and then episode two will be uh, picking up right from where we leave off here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all take care.